up, church? I'm pretty sure you can't hear me right now. I'm in the middle of my run. I know if you follow me from the very beginning, I would always run before every video and the start of every episode. But uh, last summer came through, when the summer that just passed by, I wasn't doing much of running. And uh, I'm trying to get back into the game. Uh, there's a reason why, and I'll explain more once uh, we're in a better location. Cause we got the wind going down this way, the wind going down this way. And uh, I'm here in the I-10 bridge, and check it out. The Espero over there hasn't opened since uh, Harvey last year. It's about to be a year, more than a year. And uh, they're still not back in service. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead. All right, that was 2.2 miles at an eight minute pace. I gotta admit that it's not my best performance ever. And um, I'm falling behind on my running. On this run, I actually remember that uh, around a year ago, the day before Hurricane Harvey hit, I went on a 10 mile run because that was gonna be the only opportunity for me to run because during the hurricane I was probably not going to be able to run so I'm going to go ahead I went ahead and, and head out on a, on a crazy run I remember I posted on my snapchat every screenshot was a mile so I ended up getting 10 screenshots so 3 miles it is brace yourself people hurricane Jerson is coming it's raining outside so time to take out the spandex I ended up running 10 miles and it was it was crazy because I didn't think Harvey was gonna hit that big. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five buffalo sauce, two tennis balls, some popcorn, like 10 chicharrones. We were uh, a lot of us were joking around about Harvey and Harvey was no joke. It was it was a big deal. And I remember right away the next day after that run. Time to go back home. I remember right away the next day after that run, they uh they had back down blocked off of a few roads uh, where I was at. Um, Federal was out. Uh, that's the main road that we use here a lot in the east side. Federal was completely blocked off, and I went ahead and still got my run because you know I just don't feel right without getting my morning run. It feels it feels terrible not getting that run in so um it was it was a crazy experience i know lately in the news they've been uh, reminding us about uh that uh harvey is a year old now all of that crazy madness happened around a year ago and it really wasn't a hurricane it was a it was a tropical storm it just rained a lot and it had the rain didn't stop it didn't stop and it was a, a crazy experience. Uh, I remember those days. Half of the half of the days I spent here at my house, 
uh, with the family and you know I got to shoot a few episodes during that time thank God that we didn't lose light or anything like that but the rest of the days uh, I went to the fire station and lend a hand because I finally found a way to get to my station without you know getting hurt or anything and it was just a crazy week uh, a crazy week for everybody as first responders in Galena Park we were call after call after call we probably didn't even see the station for a whole day that's how busy we were outside and uh, I just want to say uh, if you lost a loved one or something like that or got hurt my prayers for you because it was nobody expected it to be that bad and um, it was a, it was really hard to get a hold of somebody to help you like I know we had a lot of trouble helping out patients because um, we were busy and we couldn't reach to everybody and we didn't have a getaway to the hospitals every hospital was underwater not underwater the way to the hospitals were underwater and it was just really hard it was really hard to get to the patients it was really hard so I just want to thank God, you know, he took care of me throughout that whole mayhem, you know. And it was really, really awesome and amazing when the sun came out. I remember me and my buddies were playing around. We finally, we celebrated when the sun came out. And it was good to go home and see our families after uh, that whole mayhem week. I'm glad that uh, none of my friends uh, got in trouble. Our family members, we, we made it out okay and everybody was safe. So I'm real thankful for that because God really helped us out through that time. It was, like I said, it was something else. And I really wouldn't want to go through it again. But if something like that ever is to happen again, that's what we're here for. First responders are always ready to go.